Hey, what's up everybody? It's your boy Dr. Core here, and I want to show you a Katsu Spinal Rotational Mobility Exercise. We're going to use the Katsu Cycle 2.0, and I'm going to show you how to put it on your legs, and we're going to do a basic four and a half minute routine that's going to really loosen up your spinal rotation. So if you want to play golf, if you want to go out and swing baseball bat, any sort of rotational sports, tennis, volleyball, anything we're throwing and rotating, this is a great exercise to do. Check this out. We're gonna start off by putting the bands on our legs. Put the left band on the left leg. Slip it up in there. Get it nice and comfy here so you guys can see me. My kids are still doing a little homework. We're stuck inside for like, who knows, eight weeks at this point, but it probably will be more like, uh, I don't know, a year. You guys are going to be seeing a lot more of me, most likely being bored, stuck in the house with these two cute little terrorists called my children. This one over here, this is all number one and a half. We got him first. And he's sweet because he doesn't talk, he just barks. He's a good boy. Okay. Okay, okay, so we got the leg on the left, leg on the right, pull the outer band, pull the inner band, there you go, set tight, ready to rock. Okay, gonna pull this out of the way. Now, this is for spinal rotation, so we're gonna do thoracic and we're gonna do hip rotational things. We're gonna do eight rounds using the Katsu Cycle 2.0. Step one, turn that sucker on. We're gonna do pro, hi. Doing pro high. We're gonna start off by doing happy rainbows. So you're gonna lay on your left side. See if you guys can see me over here. We're gonna go left side down. So while you're lying on your left side, yes dear, you're going to keep your left leg straight. You're gonna put your right leg bent in front. You're gonna put your hands together and you're gonna take that right arm. I call these happy rainbows because you're going nice little happy rainbow over your head. So as you lean forward, you're trying to keep your top leg down, keep your left leg straight, and you're sliding that shoulder blade up, back, and around as you slide around. And you can let this top leg come up off the ground if you need to. Oh, you can straighten it out, move it around. Oh, but just a nice, happy rainbow right over your head. Let your palm open up oh, as it comes around. And slide it nice. And it's smooth. Oh, it feels like the legs just relax. Okay, we're going to cycle two. We'll do the back side of this so you can see. So this time we're gonna go move this hose around a little bit so don't lay on it. So we're gonna go right side down. We're gonna bend that left knee. We're gonna pull that in front. So keep your right leg straight. Keep your left leg bent. You put your palms at top of uh, at your head, probably your eyes, and sweep that sucker around. Let me move out of the way so I don't have my head on the fireplace. Sweep it around, let your upper body rotate open. Nice and smooth, let that palm open up to the sky. And say hello to a nice happy little rainbow. Deep breath and exhale as you slide around. Slide around, oh, nice and smooth. You can put the cycle on your arms and do the same routine. Oh, we're gonna do legs. All right, so that relaxed. So that was the end of cycle number two. So up next, we're gonna do is called a rotating pec stretch. So grab a broomstick or some sort of pole, it doesn't really matter. What you're going to do is you're going to lie on your back. You're gonna straighten your left leg. You're gonna put your right thumbs up on top of the tip of the pole. Put your left hand at the base of the pole. And so you're going to bring your body over again like that and then push up like that. So left leg is straight, right leg's bent out in front. You're using your left arm as a lever to push that right lever back. Ah, pull back and then switch. So then you roll to your right side, straighten your right leg out, bend your left leg, push that out in front. Left thumb up, push back, reach back. Left leg, roll over to the left side. We'll do one more round of that. That one's a little tricky. So left leg straight, right leg's bent, 90 at the hip, 90 at the knee. Right thumb up, you're stretching your right pec, trying to keep this right leg down. 
push her right arm over. It's like we're playing twister. Right arm, right leg, uh, and then switch. So you're rolling. And once you get the hang of this, it's easy. You just kind of roll side to side, side to side. Almost like the old reverse scorpion. Uh, using this, if you have it, pull whatever you got. Make sure that overhead arm is thumbs up and you're good. Save them rotator cuffs. Oh, rotate. If your legs can't handle it, you can keep your knees bent and go that way too. That's fine. Just rotate from the top. Rotate from the bottom. Oh, make sure you don't smash anything like vice. Oh. Okay. So now, now we're going to do a modified piriformis stretch. So this is a good one. You like this one? You're going to lie on your back. You're going to take your right leg, cross it over your left leg. So there's like this, okay? So left leg spin on the ground, right leg's up like that. You're gonna grab that right ankle with your left hand, put your right arm, cradle that right leg, pull that leg into your chest, keep this leg straight, cradle that leg, take a deep breath. And as you exhale, pull everything over to the left, take that right arm and reach that right arm back. So you're trying to keep your upper back flat on the ground, thumbs up on the right arm, and pull everything else, cross leg over to the other side. Oh, take a deep breath. Exhale, then just release on the band. So we're gonna switch sides, we're gonna do the other side. So back to the middle, take the left leg over the right leg. So you're cradling this leg. You don't wanna pull on the ankle because it's gonna to torque that LCL, the MCL. You don't wanna twist that hinge joint we call a knee. You're just gonna cradle it, pull it in. If you really wanna get crazy with it, you can straighten that guy out. But I wanna focus more on this as opposed to that. So pull that in like so. Hang on to that left ankle with that right arm. Take that left arm, reach that left arm out to the side. Pull everything off to the right. Reach your right arm over the outside of that left eye. Reach your left arm back. Deep breath. Exhale. Oh. All right, what are we doing here on time? We're at, we're at uh, round six. All right, uh, as that deflates and inflates, I'm gonna do a couple low trunk rotation, just side to side. Last one, we're gonna do a little hammy tuggers. So we're tugging on the hammies. I like to actively stretch my hamstrings instead of static, just because static is a waste of time. So, left knees bent, grab the back of that right thigh, pull that right thigh. floats away from your body so pull your leg in push up like a nice little bicycle pull it in push it up bring it around you can also bridge up on that left leg while you push up on that right leg yeah there you go oh pull it in active stretch oh that's a good one oh, oh. do a little hip circle Get some fluid, move around, a couple quick tugs. Just pull it, tug it. Oh, you got wide, okay. Last one, we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. And we'll call it, this is good, my legs are loose. Oh, so pull your knee in, straighten your leg out, pull your toe up, so you're stretching everything from the bottom of your foot to your Achilles and the calves and the hamstrings and the glutes and the low back. And, Oh my, that's a bear. That's a big old bear. I gotta stretch that bear up there. Oh, pull it in. Kick it straight. Bridge. Hey. Oh. Little head tuck. Pull it in. Kick it up. Oh. A couple tugs up there. Tuck your chin. You'll feel that neural tension build up. This is a neural tension test. Oh, if you have pain, sharp shoot pain down your leg, you got some tightness somewhere. Go loosen up. Oh, here comes my buddy. Oh, here he comes. Oh, you couldn't stay away for too long. All right, guys. Oh, that was pretty good. Nice little lower body stretch. So after that, if you don't feel loose, try that a couple more times and you'll loosen up. The main thing is just keep breathing. As long as you keep breathing, you keep moving, you'll feel good. And Katsu will help you do that. Dr. Corey, see you guys. Daddy.